Hey, what's up? It's DJ Esco. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my retarded fan, but anyway. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's about it. Make a long story short, today I'm going to cover how to uh, modify your NS7, change the, the albums or the vinyl that comes with it. Uh, i got to do this single-handedly, so I'm going to try to do perform a magic trick here on YouTube. Uh, anyway, this is the NS7, the vinyl. Notice it has three slots. One, two, three. This hole is a lot bigger than normal vinyl, uh, <clears throat> but you have these indentions. Uh, so anyway, make a long story short. I think I said that wrong. That hole is a lot smaller than the the hole that comes on regular vinyl. The vinyl you're gonna be using a seven inch vinyl. If you can find one with one hole in the center, that's the one you want to use. Because what you're able to do is you're able to modify it by drilling three holes. Uh, and they have to be equally spaced. What I'm thinking about doing is making a template that you guys could print out and maybe in a PDF format and then just lay your record on top of it, you know, mark up your spots, drill it, and that's about it. It's a quarter inch hole that you'll be drilling through the record and that's about it. Uh, let me stop this side. <clears throat> this one's kind of uh, done in a, in a very, uh, how should I say, uh, archaic kind of way, but it'll get the idea across, I guess. <clears throat> All right. This is the uh, the vinyl record. <clears throat> it's assembly. And uh, dang it, that would happen. Uh, if you look, there's a center piece here. Now, when this is mounted onto the actual uh, platter or whatever, this little screw you can loosen it up. You can move it up and you can adjust the tension between the slip mat uh -huh. and the vinyl itself. I kind of stated that previously, but I just wanted to go into that detail a little bit further. Uh, give me one quick second while I change out my tips here on the uh, screwdriver. All right, you're going to use a Phillips uh, screwdriver, <coughs> and it's a uh, P0. That's uh, the size. Phillips P is for Phillips, and zero is for the size itself. And you notice that... Uh, there's those three here. Uh, this has a concave indention on the actual metal plate. So that's the reason why you're going to drill it just a little bit bigger. Uh, when I say a little bit bigger is <clears throat> the hole for the screws to fit is actually a bell. Um, a 2.25 millimeter size. Uh, that's And then what you need to do is actually drill slightly larger to a about 6.55 or 6.50 millimeter size drill bit will do and uh, you just drill them there make sure your center hole is centered uh, attach this touch the top uh, you can make your own little label like I did and then uh, slap your vinyl record on there and you're good to go um, <clears throat> other than that this, this vinyl here actually came from EMI Records. Um, a lot of people have been asking me where do I get the vinyl from, etc. and whatever. They're no longer making this, but uh, you can still find some of the vinyl records like that. On this surface here, when you're drilling, uh, particularly for the ones from EMI, when you drill through them, there'll be separation between the lamination and the actual metalized film that they um, encapsulated inside the vinyl. So uh, that's one of the things you'll notice. So just be careful when you do that or else you end up with this, which this this side here, uh, all the, the vinyl that was on top of the uh, material came off. So I decided to use this side here instead. So anyway, with that in mind, you can slap it on there and you're good to go. So um, there is another system that I've designed. It's a uh, quick release system. And uh, I'll probably be showing that pretty soon as soon as I get my patent cleared on it. And, uh, you know, you guys, if you want to order it, whatever, what have you, uh, I'll post some of the detail on that a little bit later. <clears throat> so, with that said and done, I uh, just wanted to cover that. Uh, and, you know, it, it'll help you out for your modifications. So, you guys have a good one. This is DJ Esco. Uh, in a few seconds, I'm going to post another one up, and it'll be uh, covering the, the Odyssey case, some of the things that I don't like about it. Well, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do it here. No, no, I'll divide it up. All right, cool. Yeah, have fun. Take it easy, and we'll see you later. This is DJ Esco.